Hey everybody, this is Greg with Year of the Dad Gaming. Today we're going to talk about gold. We're going to talk about how to earn it, what to do with it, and where you're going to spend it, and uh, all, all, everything there is to know kind of about gold and how it's used in the game. Um, so you can see down in the bottom left side of the screen, there's a little gold uh, nugget there, and I've got 22,500,000 plus gold. Um, gold is used for a variety of things in the game. It's used to advance ages. It's used to repair weapons. It's used to extract seeds. It's used to improve seeds. Um, and I think you can also, oh, you can also use it to reset your skills. Um, you get one free skill reset uh, from your skill screen. And then after that, it costs 100,000. Gold is pretty easy to come by once you get to get some certain setups. Um, I'm going to show you two ways that are really easy ways to make gold. Uh, one of them is to have a peach farm. So let's uh, let's harvest these real quick. And I have to clear out some space. So in order to sell things, you have to build a market. Um, it's one of the early missions you get in the game. But you can build more than one. Um, that, so that way if you have more than eight things to sell, you can just uh, keep stacking them up. They're all on the same timer, so they're all in five minute intervals to sell the items that are on there. So peaches sell, one peach sells for 12,600 gold. Um, so I'm gonna sell 43 of these so you can see I've already got a half a million queued up and ready to go so this is going to uh, that's one way um, you can just kind of go through the crops you can use a breed improvement plant to keep, keep getting better uh, seeds until you get up to the peach seeds or when you get to the higher level dungeons there um, there's a good chance that you'll get peaches or peach seeds uh, to drop in the dungeon so an alternate way to get gold is to create a jack-o'-lantern farm. So using a livestock farm, you put the jack-o'-lanterns that are found on the island of fallen leaves. You put several droppers on it and just have it absorbed right into a marketplace. Um, these things generate pumpkin really quick and pumpkin's got a pretty good price tag on it. So I'll show you this, um, you know, 2,544, and these things are just coming in, coming in, coming in um, constantly. So you can put multiple droppers on there, and you can get to spit it out pretty fast. And I've got two going. i got one on that side and one over here. And uh, some green monos, uh, you know, dying. And when they die, they shoot out the healing, so they keep the, the jack-o'-lantern alive in the livestock farm. And then it's just a constant cash flow here. Um, another way to get gold is to sell your weapons that you don't use. You'll get tons of weapons and a chest. I don't really recommend that path. I mean, that's a, a, a good way to get easy gold, but you can just offer those in your picture book. And that would be a, a, a better use of that. You know, it's some weapons are pretty good gold makers. Um, you know, like this one's 100,000. Uh, this one's 180,000, 116,000. So you can rack up some money pretty quick uh, by selling them. But, um, you know, it's not necessarily needed. Whenever this counts down uh, to zero, it'll sell it. And you'll see in the bottom left where my gold is that it'll actually increase by the amount through all my markets. So if I've got, you know, I've got four markets uh, on this island. And when the countdown goes, everything will sell at once and everything will be totaled up and then I'll have my gold. Um, so like I said, you use it when you repair items. So I've got a staff that I will repair now. See, it costs 3,592 to repair it. And you can see my gold went down there in the left uh, corner. Uh, also, when you advance ages, there's usually a gold requirement. So right now for the age of scientific research, there's a $30 million requirement along with the offering of knowledge. 
So that's going to cost gold. So each time you advance an age, that usually costs you uh, additional gold. So you need to make sure you have gold there. And when you go to get seeds, so I've got a seed extractor. I don't have anything to put into it. Let me see if I can find something to put in there. Uh, doesn't look like I have anything to put in there right now. But if you have something to put in there, um, it'll charge you based on the level of the, of the crop to extract the seeds. Same goes for breed improvement plants. Um, as you're going through that process, it costs money, it costs gold to actually improve um, each crop to try to get a better seed. So um, there's the different ways you need gold. Um, like I said, it's not hard to get gold in the game. Um, you know, using the peach farms, you can stack multiple farms and plant multiples at one time, harvest them, and you know you're gonna get millions of gold pretty quick um, the more peaches you plant or if you do the jack-o-lantern um, harvesting that's another money maker I mean, you can talk and if you get a couple of those set up you're gonna make five hundred thousand each time you know, every five minutes so you can make gold really quickly uh, but you know gold is necessary in the game so just remember those are some of the things you need um, repairing items, getting seeds, uh, advancing ages, and then also resetting skills. So if I go to my skills right now, I can do it for free. Uh, but if I did it a third time, it's actually going to make me pay for it. But it's only a hundred thousand. Um, so you could use that to you know kind of play around with your. Uh, character builds and get some different uh, character builds with the skills. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give us a like. Um, if you enjoy the content on our channel, please consider subscribing. It helps us grow. And as always, if you go to fantasyroleplayinggames.com, we've got more uh, tips and guides there. And uh, we try to try to get as much as we can. If you got any questions, just drop us a comment. We'll try to answer them. Um, you know, if you you've got something in the game that's you know confusing or you need help with, drop a comment. We'll try to do a video on it if we don't already have one covering it, or try to explain something maybe a little more in depth. Um, I've already done that with a couple. Had a couple people comment, so I made a video and you know explained it a little bit more. There's there's some things in this game that aren't uh, quite straightforward. So, uh, you know, just let us know. Let us know what we can help with. And uh, we'll try to get a, get a video out there. Um, so that's all for today. And thanks for watching.